Hi C Stars, teacher Jocelyn here and I just wanted to go over the letter H. So this is my letter box and this is my big letter H and my little letter H. We're gonna see what's inside. So H is for hat. Put it on your head. H is for hat. H is for helmet. And it's something that you put on your head to protect your head from getting hurt. Do you guys know what color the helmet is? It's blue. H is for house. And this house has lots of windows and a little red door. H is for house. And H is for horse. What sound does a horse make? Good. And H is for, this is something I use to hang your clothes up in your closet, and it's called a hanger. What color is the hanger? It's red. And H is for heart. It's a little pink heart. Then I have my big H and my little h so i'm going to put everything back and we're going to count and see how many things go back into the letter h box one two three four five six seven and eight now i'm going to close my letter h box and the letter H reminds me of something that I love that starts with the letter H, and it's a hug. And because of that, I'm going to read this book today. And it's called The Perfect Hug, written by Joanna Walsh and illustrated by Judy Abong. The Perfect Hug. There are hugs for wrigglers and hugs for gigglers, hugs that are tickly and hugs that are prickly. But none is exactly the right hug for me. I'm out to find the perfect kind. Look, it looks like the little panda is going to go look for the perfect hug. How big is a hug? A bug may mean well, but how can I feel his tiny squeeze around my knees? A boa constrictor's hugs a bit stricter than any sort of hug ought to be, at least for me. A hug from a grizzly is big but scary. Grin and bear it, but do be wary. Then there's the question of arms. What's too many? Some have lots, and some don't have any. So there's lots of arms here, and the snails have no arms. And what about a jellyfish with all those stingers? I'd hug her with rubber gloves on my fingers. None of these hugs is quite the height for, not too tight for, oh so right for me. But I look like the jellyfish was not the perfect hug. Could there be hugs light years from here? Hugs we know nothing about? Far out on stars in a galaxy, far, far away. How do they hug the Milky Way? It looks like he's looking in outer space for the perfect hug. I see some robots and some aliens. What do you see? All right, let's see what's next. I've tried them all, short and tall, big and small. What is, he, what are, it looks like there's some dinosaurs on this page. Fantastic hugs, elastic hugs, gymnastic, enthusiastic hugs, but monkey tugging. Where will I find one that's just my size? 
One that will suit me down to the ground. One that will fit me all the way around. I've roved the white seas over and under, and still I wonder. Look, he's going in a boat, riding the ocean. Do you suppose that there might be a hug right under my nose? What's the secret? Tell. Well, it's easy peasy, don't you know? It's one plus one. A hug takes two. And look, this is the sign for a perfect hug. If you hug me, then I'll hug you. Aw, he found the perfect hug. The end. Alright, sea stars, thanks for listening to the story.